Hello parents. My name is Kate Wilson and this year, in addition to teaching English, I have the position of Literacy Coach. My focus area is writing and, specifically, the writing program called Write That Essay. One key benefit of this program is the online platform where students can find information, practice their writing, receive feedback and complete tasks set by the, te the teacher. Today, I'm going to walk you through those processes and see how teachers will use this resource, especially with flexible learning. Firstly, a quick overview of the key elements. This writing program provides a consistent and accessible language for us to teach writing to our students. It explicitly teaches a variety of sentence structures and you can see here the adverb start, and also the M dash, and of course there are many other sentence styles. It also presents a variety of paragraph styles. The scientist and the slam dunk paragraph are among them, but of course there are many more. It is a useful resource for every subject where students need to write, and that is every subject. So where will students use this? A teacher may set a writing task to show, for instance, understanding of the week's work or to contribute to a particular assessment piece. They may assign also the daily writing challenge for students. Students can also use this for their own writing or to check assignments that they are writing. And for Year 9, the teaching modules will be assigned each week for the literacy part of Tuesday's SLP lessons. Let's have a look at the online platform now. So to log on to Write That Essay, you type into the address bar writethatessay.org. It will take you to this page where we click on the login and then Students will need to log in using their school email address and the password that they have chosen. If they've never logged on to this before, then their password will be Corinda with a capital C. Today, I'm just going to use a sample student login that we have. The first page of Write That Essay looks like this, and you can see the buttons that I'm going to be using today are all along the very top there. The very first button on the left hand side takes you back to this first page at any stage. The next button along that looks like a little target will take you to the daily challenge. We click on this and we can see a page where students are asked to respond to the picture there and given a little challenge. This could be assigned to them from their teacher or they could do it just for fun. The pink button here takes you to the writing tools and this is where students can independently practice their writing or upload an assignment for checking. If they're writing a story, the free writer is the best one. Sentence Builder will take you to practice all the particular sentence styles that Write That Essay teaches us. This is quite a lovely resource actually. We can click on the M dash sentence here, press on start, and it will give you information on the purpose and the format of this type of sentence, and then a space in order for you to practice your own sentences. Likewise, uh, for paragraphs or if we're writing a whole essay in science or subjects that need a report, we have a report writer here and, and so on. This is really a fantastic resource. If a student has been assigned a task from their teacher, that task is going to be found behind the yellow button called Tasks. We can also see particular tasks that have been rolled out by clicking on the Notifications button on the right hand side. Okay, so this student here has been offered a task asking her to write some sentences about how they feel about flexible learning. So they have written an M dash sentence. 
learning from home, no friends, no teacher, no classroom has one advantage, I can bring my cat to class. And this follows the structure of an M dash sentence. The second part of their task asks them to write a W start sentence about the same. I'm going to leave that one for now and have a look at the second task which has been assigned, which is reviewing a poem. This is actually a year eight task that my year eights have been assigned and their task written in this green uh, tab here says this week you have studied two poems. You will select one poem and write a paragraph that offers a review of the poem. And then we have a list of things that need to be included. This first page asks us to record some ideas. So uh, we have the poem Circles and Squares by Ali Cobby Eckerman. And we need to offer an appreciation of this poem. Uh, it was an engaging and moving poem. I would include an excellent quote from the poem here in my planning. And finally, I might talk about the symbolism of the circles and squares. So I have done my planning and then I click up the top here on the next button which says plan. I could make some further notes if needed here in what are the key ideas that I need to uh, write in my paragraph but I'm feeling pretty ready to write so I'm going to write my paragraph up in here and Ali Cobby Eckerman's beautiful poem circles and squares and I would continue until I had finished. Up the top it tells me that my changes have been saved here. When I'm finished all I need to do uh, is to leave this and it has been uploaded for my teacher to see. At any point in what I'm writing I can click on the red feedback form here and receive some feedback in how I am going. Okay, so I've done my task in the yellow button. The orange button here takes me to work that has been completed. The blue button here takes me to a hugely informative part of the website offering information and lessons on particular sentences, paragraphs, elements of writing. So you can see we have sentences, we have tips for writing good paragraphs in structure and even um, some additional information how to write good dialogue using quotes. When I click on one of these, let's have a look at the adverb start, it takes us to a page where we watch the video we can read the further information and then we do the module quiz. Year 9 students are required to complete the assigned modules in their SLP lesson uh, every other Tuesday for their literacy SLP. Okay, back onto the home screen we can look at our performance. So this program will collate all of the writing that your student does on here and at any time you can click on this feedback tab and see write that essay's assessment of your sentences of your spelling of your word count and so on. This is an excellent on-the-spot diagnostic that our students find really engaging. Finally the green tab takes you to the classes that you are enrolled in. The final button here shows you your account details and allows you to choose your avatar. Write That Essay is an excellent resource for our students. Please ask them to show this site to you. You could chat about their feedback or you could do the daily challenge together 
and if there are any problems with logging in, just have students send me an email. Thanks everyone.